Welcome everybody, today we're making a water filter. You need some ground up charcoal, some tissue. Well, if you don't need any more, already clean up the bottle. You need some, just seen a water bottle that looks like this with the top cut off. The, the collection the collection part of the water filter, which got this, this upper part, the bottom part, you cut off the bottom part here and you cut off the top part here. So it looks like that. Now let's get started. So what you want to do now is grab a piece of cloth right here and then let me find the scissors where it is, gets it. Grab the scissors. I'm gonna cut a decent, a pretty sizable, uh, pretty sizable patch off. Let me shake it up right now. Alright, this around this is this size should be good. Oh my god stuck in my fingers. Alright, just like that, about that size. Now we gotta grab two two rubber bands, just like that. And then you place the the filter part and you just pull it on like that. Try to and then you gotta Wrap it around. Oops, there, there. Let's do that. There you go. You're gonna wrap it and twist it as you like. Wait, oh, careful. It's real finicky here. Ah, everything fell off. Right, guys, you gotta be a bit more patient in this part. It's a little finicky. Go. Okay, it might be tricky to do that. How about the the easier out is you got more uh, rubber bands. You just add. You want to add like how about to be just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna add four more rubber bands. I mean, I don't want this to everything to just fall fall apart. Oh, <laughs> and everything just fell apart. As soon as he said, as soon as I said it, rip. All right, all right. Let me try again, guys. It's really finicky. All right, all right. Just gotta place it on top, and then place it up here. There you go. Just pull it in. There you go. Just like that. Now, if you're a bit more, no, I think it's preferable. We gotta be very careful with this. You twist it around. Actually, no, it's not a good idea. It's too risky. Right, yeah, I get, it's kind of thing of it. It's just best to just hold it tight like that. Just like this, guys. I right, just want <laughs> me waffling around. Alright, now let's continue. What you gotta do now is pour in your ground up charcoal. It's not fully ground in, but I don't think it needs to be super fine. Though I think it probably is if it's super fine. But it's a bit, it's a mix of co coarse and fine. I guess it'll be fine. Now you just gotta pour it in. Let right, me just put a look at it right now. Give it a good look. I need a little bit more. There you go. That's about, it's about that. You see, that's your bottom layer. Now, you need to place sand. As you see, I got right here. It's a bit more like soil, but it's okay as since I don't actually have much sand around in my house, unfortunately. So all you gotta do is put it in. I think it's better if you just put it in, but I'm going this round, I guess. There you go. Yeah, one more should be good. There you go. Just like that. That's your sand layer. To cap it off, you're gonna need a layer of pebbles. 
to make sure all to get all of the coarse contaminants like they maybe like like life forms like little mosquitoes and like mosquito larvae and stuff like that just put that in and we'll finish it off right, there you go guys that's how you make a little the upper part of the water filter all you gotta do now is put it up here and as soon as you put like contaminated water it's gonna filter out most of the gunk and whatnot though i do recommend after you filter all of the impurities you're gonna need to boil it for about 20 to 5 to 20 minutes around there to make sure none of the no viruses or bacteria gets you all right guys hope you stay safe out there